My name is Amy Annable. I am the Sprout Operations Manager for Edrich Farm. I've been here for six years, but Edrich has been growing broccoli sprouts for 11 plus years. It's been in the family for five generations. Our sprouts specifically are organic broccoli seeds. We put them in a container, we give them some water, lots of sunshine, and in seven days they've sprouted into a, a tiny broccoli seed or a broccoli plant. A quarter of an ounce or one ounce of sprouts would sprout which is a quarter of a box, is equal to eating a pound of broccoli, whole adult broccoli. They contain cancer-fighting antioxidants that research, of course, has shown prevents free radicals in the body which cause cancer. They're delicious. I think they have a little bit of a spice to them. They, they taste sort of like a radish. I, you would expect them to taste like broccoli, but they really don't. I recommend people use them like lettuce, either in on a sandwich or in a salad. You can mix them in with your tuna. I really like putting them in tuna or egg salad, shrimp salad, chicken salad sort of thing. We put new sprouts in every week. On Monday, we come in, the greenhouse is full. We start packing, we empty the left side of the greenhouse. Tuesday, we clean the racks and we fill it up with brand new clean seeds. Wednesday, we start working on the right side of the house. We'll empty that. Thursday, we clean the racks and fill that side. Friday, we get our sprouts all ready to go, all of our boxes made, trays washed, and we're cleaned up, and Monday it starts again. So Alfalfa sprouts in particular, they, they grow really quickly. They're also very good for you. They're used the same way. They're very much like lettuce. Wheatgrass is a, a special kind of sprout all on its own. You juice it, and a lot of people um, use it and swear that it prevents cancer. And believe it or not, if, if you're dedicated to it and you drink lots of wheatgrass juice, then it can really work miracles. It, it tastes like grass, and it's surprisingly very sweet. It, it reminds me of the stevia plant, how that's like really sweet, but it's very good for you. It's full of antioxidants. There's a list. If you Google wheatgrass, there is a list of 101 things at least that wheatgrass can is, is useful for. But I like it because it gives me a lot of energy. I try to drink it every day. And it's a detoxifying agent, so of course, you know, the more you drink it, the cleaner your, your body's going to be. And then we sell sunflower sprouts. They're an unusual taste. They're crunchy. They're not like the other sprouts because they're thick. They remind me of carrots but they're very high in protein and iron. A lot of vegans seek out sunflower sprouts because they don't get their proteins and iron from meat. Most health food stores in the area and organic markets are, are gonna have our sprouts, especially if, if you stay local. Absolutely there's an advantage to buying local sprouts. Of course you should buy. You should buy local to support your local economy, first of all. You should buy everything local. But as far as sprouts, you definitely want to buy your sprouts from a local vendor because they haven't traveled as far. It's common knowledge that sprouts, it's a live product. So it's not going to last as long as rice on the, the shelves. So you don't want them to have to spend a week in a truck traveling. You want to get your sprouts from as close as you can, you want them to be as fresh as possible so they last. And of course, if they're not traveling so far, they don't have their gas price incorporated into their price, so you're going to spend less money on I'm really impressed that the Stanfields, who've been five, five generations of farmers, were able to think so outside of the box to, to come to, all right, we're going to hydroponically grow sprouts in this 300-square-foot greenhouse. And it, it, it keeps the farm going through the winter. It, it keeps two full-time employees plus part-time employees. So, that, you know, we're keeping the economy going. I, I think that's, it's the wave of the future. We, farmers need to think that way. You know, their farming space is getting smaller and smaller, and farmers just have to come out of their, those conventional methods, especially come out of conventional growing. And more people are going to have to move in this direction and figure out how we can grow sustainably, organically, and keep it local. Our sprouts, they like to be told good morning and good night every evening, and we tuck them in and turn the water on in the greenhouse, and we take care of them. We really do. We, we make sure that our sprouts are, you know, they're, they're grown with love here.